Well, good evening. We are finishing up one incredible day weather wise. Of course, all the rainfall more than three inches in and around Charlotte. That would be our wettest February day in 142 years of record keeping. It wasn't just uptown, up I-77 in Statesville around three inches, nearly four inches in Rowan County near uh, Salisbury, south and east of town. Again, right around the three inch mark and even more across portions of Burke, Caldwell counties and into the high country. Just an incredible day. We also tracked what well, could well we wind up being tomorrow when the National Weather Service uh, rolls into town on Friday. They're going to take a look at this circulation that pretty much paralleled Highway 51. There were two of them working right along Highway 51, and that caused a lot of damage from Pineville over to Matthews before it weakened some as it worked its way onto the east. Again, you don't see that every day for sure. Our future cast dries things out finally as we go through tonight with the rain ending by about 1 a.m. or so. A couple of showers left will start to dry out and clear out on a gusty southwest breeze uh, overnight. There will be a couple of mountain snow showers as the colder air comes in. As far as the flooding goes, that's about done for streets because of the, the lack of rain actually falling. Creeks and streams are actually already beginning to recede some, and now our concern turns to the main rivers. The morning drive, just be careful. There's a lot of debris on the roads from uh, tree limbs down, that sort of thing. So just keep that in mind if you're going to be out and about before daybreak. Uh, once the sun does come up, that west wind and the sun is going to warm us up, but only to the mid 50s, which is a far cry from where we've been, but actually where we should be uh, for February. Very gusty breeze, 15 to 20 mile per hour winds, and with the ground saturated, even though there isn't anything falling from the sky, down trees could still be a problem as we head through the day on Friday. Good news on the weekend, we'll get sun back near 50 Saturday, but we're back to 60 or better as we head into Sunday. Our next chance of rain. Looks like we'll wait till next Tuesday. A chance to dry out will be welcome. Have a good night.